Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, Shadows of Arm. And when last we left off, let us level up Jahira. Two hit points gained, add a reduction in Thaco, and some breath weapon saving throw reduction. Marvellous. With that done, you. let's now start looting this area. You we encountered some Durga. The Durga have been dispatched, and it's this person who has the really good loot. A magical suit of chainmail, and some acorns. The acorns are, I believe, very useful. There are also going to be some more sling bullets, and some more gold. There's some more there, and you have even more, and a healing potion. Healing potions are certainly uh, worth it. More gold, and even more gold. Yep. Briefly check if there are any traps nearby. Any traps at all? No, it would seem not. Aha! We have another helmet, which is good, and a scroll. And another two-handed sword. That is what I was hoping to find. Now we have two of these, which means that you can uh, get rid of that and have this. You are much more devastating now, and we really want you to uh, identify this using a spell. This is the Mail of the Dead plus two. Mechanically, it is better than what we're using. In many respects. So we will equip this, and now we have an armor class of minus one. Not bad. You can equip this, and get rid of these. We don't need those. There's also a helmet here. You're the only other person in the party that can use a helmet, so you, uh, equipping that is a good idea. Name it. Beyond that, we need to have a look at all the other things in the area, like this Good box here, that barrel, and these two tables. Over here are some healing potions. We could always do with more of them. We could do with a lot of healing potions. Don't want them, though. They're just thrown weapons. Don't want any of that, really. And the healing potions are nice, but otherwise, no. Well, let's actually double check and see if there's nothing else here. There are some sling bullets I am that uh, we could use. You can use them. You're pretty much the only person that can use them uh, most effectively. Also, we can get rid of the small shield because we uh, have a better shield as it is. So you can put that there, that there, switch back to this, put that there. Unfortunately, uh, putting these down means that the uh, weapon that's ready uh, switches to the ranged one, but that's fine. We can deal with that. Time to move? Not yet! We need to do some healing. Then we'll move. I think, uh, Minx needs a little bit of healing. And a little more. We need to get the health roughly to near maximum and then, uh, carry on our merry way. We have nearly cleared this first floor, though. As best as we can, anyway. That's fine. More resting. We're good to go. Nothing to it. Let's head in this direction, and check out this door. It's locked. Okay, any traps for us to worry about on that? No. What about unlocking right, it? You are. This door has no visible lock or handle. You can't seem to budge it. However, the floor has an odd-shaped recess in it. It looks as if a statuette or figurine could fit within. Um, right. We were told that we needed a statue. And this is an area that we need to be careful of, because if memory serves, there's a trap here. Right, there's a nasty right. trap here that will hurt a lot. And I just need to find it. There it is. We need to get rid of that. The experience for getting yeah. rid of traps is always worth it. And we don't want to take that damage, that's for sure. Ooh, this thing looks quite uh, interesting. Let's go in and have a look around. Hello, you! That is Cambion. What are we going to do concerning Cambion? You look quite dangerous. You're currently not going to harm us, though, and we can't save because there's a monster nearby. Sorry, can we talk to you? Hmm. I think we can. Let's have a conversation. Cambion has nothing to say to me. Can we use this? You're too far away to use that. Okay. Pushing on the lever of the machine seems to excite the demon that stands in the circle. The magical barrier that surrounds it weakens visibly. If the wheel is turned further, you expect the magic might disappear altogether. Hint, hint! You better do some buffing, because we're about to get into combat! And combat we will have! Let's, uh, 
cast haste as well. Haste is a really good spell. And mirror image. And anything else that we want to cast before we move on? Armor of this uh, spell here, the armor of faith, might be good. And then we'll deal with this person. You push the lever, and the room begins to hum. The magical barrier around the demon disappears. The fiend snarls and gnashes his teeth. We have combat! Let's deal with this combat. Um, you have Charm Animal, you also have Berserk. We're not having you go Berserk. Not at all, but we'll have you cast a magic missile, and we will have at thee! You already took some damage, and that's even more damage, as the demon was very quickly dealt with. Okay, I thought that might be a little more dangerous. I believe this is just a uh, magical bastard sword, so let's go and have it identified. It is, but what kind of magic? It's just plus one. Fair enough. So you have been dealt with, and there's nothing else in here, which means that the only way we can really go is over here. Let's head over in this direction. We move a lot faster now that we're hasted, which is good. Haste is a spell that doesn't last very long, though, so it's best not to uh, have it active all the time. You never know when you might need it for a combat. However, them rushing along is quite silly. Zoom! This is the only real way that we can go, so let's go this way. And there's a goblin! This goblin stands no chance when we're hasted. Oh no, we get an extra attack, we move faster, and we're just that much more devastating. It's a really good spell, and I'm going to be using it a lot. These goblins are powerless! Oh wait, haste is faded. The goblin is still pretty powerless. Case in point, the goblin is no more. Let's go forward. There's a door here. We could do with opening this door. And having it... Ooh, this place looks pretty important. And you know what they say? Save off them. Let's go in. You suddenly have a sense of imminent danger. Something here is not what yes, it seems. Very well. Indeed. Also, you're stuck behind the door, aren't you? Yes, you are. Let's have a look around. Time to move? No and problem at all. check for traps, because there are going to be traps everywhere, I'm sure. Yep, you're actually standing on one. Fortunately, you can get rid of it. And this one, too. And this one, too. Good. Locked? Of course. Not locked anymore. And that is not locked, so we can look around now. Ooh, the Helm of Balderan. That is a good item to find. Let's have a look at it. The fabled Helm of Balderan, a legendary founder of Baldur's Gate, has long been rumoured to wield powerful protective magic. The exact nature of this magic, however, has yet to be determined. Thacko plus one, armor class plus one, saving throws plus one, hit points plus five, and protection against critical hits. This is a fine helmet that we're going to be using for quite a while, and you might as well hold on to that one for now. What do you want? What else will we find in here? You can count on me. That was there. This is another key, a wand of lightning key. Are you seeing a theme? You should. Here is a air elemental statue. We want that statue. That statue is very important. Something up? And over here one, is a necklace, an amulet specifically. Let's see if we can... Ooh, it's a meta spell influence amulet, which means that you can memorize one extra second level wizard spell. You might as well have yep. that equipped for now. Mm. We could go back and uh, go to where that um, thing was needed. The locked portal, as the game says. It's handy that they have this uh, thing guiding you along. And that this is still moving. That's quite a nice touch as well. We could backtrack. Let's actually backtrack right now. And head back and check this out, because we may need to uh, find something. Actually, no. Let's... Uh, Look around here first. We might uh, need something from here. What's to the north? To the north are goblins! Goblins, not really much of a threat. So let's deal with the goblins and have you just start shooting these goblins. You're gonna have to fight to get out of a lot of places, I feel. Just uh, have an attack here, you go over there and deal with that one, and then we'll deal with you. 
There's a portal here. Probably can't do much to activate that right now, also our inventory is very full. Very full indeed, so let's start uh, distributing things so that we can make a little bit of room. There we go. There's some goodies here that I want after all, like this uh, small pile of gold pieces and a scroll. Not much else. Ooh, never mind, there is something here. A scroll of fireball. Always useful to have a scroll of fireball, that's for sure. What about over here? I see some greenery. Hello. How are you? Protect me. Yes, help us. Free us. Slow down. Who are you? And what is going on here? We are his possessions. His servants. His concubines. Please help us to escape. How can I help you? If you can escape, you must take our acorns to the queen. Tell her of our plight in this creature's lair. Take them to the fairy queen, who lives in the south end of the Windspear Hills. This will be our deliverance from this... this Irenicus and his dungeon. So, I see we have a name for our captor at last. Irenicus, is it? Tell me, Dryads, why this Irenicus would go to such lengths to keep you three here? We are supposed to instill emotion, but he is barren inside. I am not sure what he expects. You can foil his plans for us, at least, if you take the acorns to the Fairy Queen, that she can regrow our trees and free us. I will be happy to help you. Or, why do you not simply leave? You do not seem to be chained or caged as I was. We cannot leave our trees. If we are separated from our trees, we will die. All right, how can I help you? Our trees will die too. I will be happy to help you in that case. There's no reason not to help, after all. Thank you. You must take the acorns and deliver them to the Fairy Queen in the south end of the Windspear Hills. But he has taken the acorns. He knows of our plans. It amuses him. He has left our acorns with Lyric. Lyric is mean. I believe that I have the acorns you are talking about. You have done a noble thing for us. Please take these acorns to the Fairy Queen who lives southeast of a human settlement called Trader Meat. Ah, that's information that we need. We didn't know where the Windspear Hills were. We will help you escape. You must use the portals to travel up to the next level of the complex. This is how Irenicus travels. The portals are triggered by a certain key. He uses her key. He still loves her, you see. He keeps her room just as it was, though well protected. We go there sometimes and look at her things. May the forest always open a path for you. So beautiful. I used to dream of dryads and their beautiful trees. We have seen a few of them before, I believe. You are welcome among us, girl. Youthful exuberance is music that we have not heard in such a long time. I used to dream. But he doesn't. Your charms don't work on him anymore, do they? How do you know of this? He has touched you as us, hasn't he? Irenicus searches for something he cannot find, and he looks within those that have no more idea than he. Irenicus. A name that is synonymous with death and ugliness. No, death sounds different. He showed me. I spit on his name. I spit on this place. Live as you can where you must, young woman. You will not survive if you give in. We have learned this. I have learned something different. So beautiful you are. I almost can't see you. I just want to go home. Oh, Terry, when can we go home? If this is not ominous foreshadowing, I don't know what is. Anything over here that we can loot? No. Down here, however, is an important place. We do not want to go into here just yet. Going into here is a bad idea. There are alarms there. Remember what the person in the jar told us? That going into the mistress's place set off alarms and things did not end well. So we're just going to head back over to here and use the statue and talk to whoever is in here. Maybe then we can uh, get something useful. Hopefully, anyway. Over here we go. We may be doing things out of order, but I'm sure it won't hurt us that much. It probably will hurt us quite a bit. Over here. Slowly but surely we walk and you can see that... Uh, Minsk is uh, getting stuck a bit behind Jahira. Sometimes that does happen when people are walking from one place to another. Generally, the party can make good headway and don't get stuck too often, apart from that whole thing with the door. We're in! 
Let us save. The statue was what we needed. And there will be combat, I'm sure. Welcome, I think, to part of the elemental plane of air. There are going to be enemies. Yep. Not surprisingly, an air method and a mist method. And we can deal with these ready. just fine. Name I think some arrows uh, are all we'll need. This should be fun. Let's see if we can... Oh, that's a hit. And that's some uh, cold magic. We just need a few more hits. There's one taken care of. And there's the other taken care of. Let's keep moving. And looking around for where we need to go. This does not look like where we need to go. But there might be something down here, like combat. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes, yeah! Can you even see the eyes with all that blur? Maybe you can't. Never mind, the foe is gone. There is another foe here with the narrow uh, passageway that there is here. Having two people try and get close is probably not a good idea. Let's uh, just have you attack. Are you going to uh, get a hit? One slashing damage. That was uh, a big hit there. And ooh, there are goodies here. Are there goodies behind a trap or is there no trap? There could very well be a trap here. Time to move. Doesn't seem like there's a trap. There is a spell, Conjure Air Elemental. That's a pretty good one. We'll have you hold on to that. Ah, you're too far away. That is something that the game does want? do, to its credit. Like you can't have people just throw no. things across the entire the map channel. because they're not next to each other. Makes sense. Right, over here we go. I think this is the way we need to go for some progress and a bit of a conversation. The elemental plane of air is an odd place. An infinite expanse of nothing but air and wind and clouds. Lots of enemies here, though. Oh, that's a nasty one. That's a fire method. Let's just start dealing with some of these, shall we? We'll have you do that. We'll have uh, you attack this one. You'll attack this one. And Jahira, you can attack this one. We need to split our efforts here so that we don't all die. Then again, it's not going so well right now. But maybe a... Uh, ooh, that's not a good idea. This might be a better idea. And that there. We're all blinded right now, except uh, Minx here. Minx is not blinded. However, you're not doing that well in combat. Yep. We have more spells. We do have more spells. This might help. Not doing that well at the moment, but we now are no longer blinded. So focus there. You focus here. Us all being grouped together is actually a really bad idea. It's a very bad idea. But, oh, you're not doing that well there, but you're running away. Good. So you can now focus here. You're actually really not doing well health-wise. And there we go. Brilliant. Not having them auto attack means that uh, sometimes, oh, you're turning around. I'd rather you didn't. I'd rather instead that uh, you fought here. There we go. Taken care of and taken care of. Brilliant. That uh, didn't go so well. There is this, though, that we can have a look at. Probably a good idea to have a look at it. After, of course, we've saved because... That fight could have gone a lot worse. Let's say hello to whatever is here. I thought I could use something. Nope, seems like I can't. I thought there was uh, some significance to that. There is some significance to something further in, though. Healing? Good plan. We're all going to need a bit of healing. I took a lot of damage. A lot of damage indeed. Actually, we could just rest and get the healing done. That's probably better. There we go. Healing has been cast. Healing has been cast. And healing has been cast. Marvelous. Onwards we go. Probably better to do that if we're actually just going to rest. Ah, here we go. This is where I wanted to be. Let's have a conversation, shall we? And use this. Hello. I am bound. What do... Who are you? Ah, I see. The master is gone, and you've managed to get yourselves in trouble. Who are you that you've been bound in this flask? Enslaved would be a more accurate word. 
I was captured in my home on this plane of air by some wizard. He bound me to this flask that I might guard his things, and something of yours. You have something that belongs to me? I do, a thing of power that still carries a hint of your essence. There is something odd about the signature that you leave on this item. No matter. Can you give it to me? If I had the power to give you your weapon, I would, but the force that binds me is strong. As long as I am trapped within this flask, I am within the Mage's power. If you can secure the means of my release, I will give you your weapon. That sounds like a fair trade. How do I secure the means of your release? This flask that I am bound in is a creation of magic. It is unbreakable as long as it remains apart from its twin, the real flask. You must find the original flask and bring it back to me. Once it is within my grasp, I can break the enchantment and be freed. Where can I find this flask? He will keep the flask close to himself. The master would not risk it falling into other hands. Perhaps he keeps it in his chambers or with his dryad concubines. Perhaps the golems have it. I cannot pinpoint its location from another plane. You shall have to search for it. Return to me when you have found it, and we shall exchange my freedom for your weapon. We have a quest! We need to free the Jin. Well, we don't have to free the Jin, but freeing the Jin is a good idea, because we get an awesome item out of it, and one that will really work to our fighting style. And maybe we won't get killed by Mephids, eh? We're probably going to get killed by Mephids, so let us just uh, get out of here. And when we come back, folks, we will continue to adventure in Irenicus's dungeon, his base of operations. And hopefully we can get out of here, and at the very least, get to the next floor. Because there are multiple floors to this place, and uh, we need to go and explore all of them. We're going to have to go into there to make progress. Of course. Oh, that we're going to have to. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.